This is it. Right here. See this little drip, drip, drip? Okay. And listen for just a second. This is what has created this. This little bit of water is the key ingredient for creating some amazing places that are right beneath our feet. We know about the paths that water makes through our landscapes with rivers and streams, but how about the pathways that water carves underground? We don't often see those hidden places. I'm John, and I'm a big fan of caves. And I'm M. Chad Edwards. I could talk shop about fresh water and trails and trees, but I'm learning about caves. I work for the U.S. Forest Service, which stewards 193 million acres of national forests and grasslands throughout the nation, including thousands of caves and springs. These are all public lands, so if you think about it, I work for you. Now, during this program, we'll be exploring some caves in the Ozark St. Francis National Forest in northern Arkansas, and taking a look at some other caves around the country. We're going to learn about how caves and cars are pathways that connect us, as well as plants, animals, and water to the world below. Caves and karst? I know what a cave is, but what about karst? It's a landscape defined by caves, springs, sinkholes, and disappearing streams, just like that one. You see how these tiny trickle goes into these rocks and just disappears? Like many places in the United States, this area is formed with limestone rock. And here's a map showing where to find caves and cars across the country. If you're interested in caves like me, then there's probably one not too far from where you live that you could visit. The National Caves Association also has many great maps of where to find caves near you. Hey, um, here's some folks going by right now. Well, they're going on a wild cave tour, which means they'll get to crawl around and get a close look at the caverns. Caves are so much fun to explore. Yeah, so they're gonna go underground, like under all these big rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take your word on that about being fun. But how about you tell me about why we should care about caves? Well, knowing about caves and cars is important for many reasons. Groundwater connects springs, wells, and other drinking water sources for people and wildlife, so we need to know about the geology of cave systems. Caves support unique biological communities, they provide information about human history, and many people find that caving is really interesting. Yeah, I'm getting excited about learning more. All right, so let's go check in with a couple of scientists, right? Because they're gonna talk to us a little bit more about why caves are such an important resource. Let's go meet Fernando Hernandez. He's one of our rock star scientists. See, because he's a geologist, a rock, rock star. All right, pardon the dad joke. Can you just uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about the geology of this area? Yeah, of course. The story about this area and many areas with limestone rock started millions and millions of years ago. Shallow seas once covered this area, and as shells from craters in these shallow seas drifted to the bottom, they mixed with mud and organic matter that gradually compressed into layers of limestone. Then, over more millions of years, water flowed to the limestone to carve out caves. We got a team of geologists and hydrologists here today studying how the water and air that we see, feel, and use on the surface create these fascinated places down below. As you mentioned, water is the critical ingredient that creates these features and connects with everything. You should go and talk to Johanna Kovarik. She's the cave and karst coordinator of the U.S. Forest Service. I see you guys inside the cave. Hey, Johanna. Hey, Pat. Uh, please tell me what's going on because you're dressed like a canary in a mine shaft. Should I be concerned? No, you should not be concerned. So, what do you have there? This is the dye. We're going to put it in the water. Go ahead, Nima. One way to study where the water goes underground is to put non-harmful dye into the water. This shows us where the water goes and where it flows underground. So why do we need to know exactly where the water goes? By understanding where the groundwater flows, we can help to protect its cleanliness, not only for ourselves, but also for the environment. We can understand how karst features on the surface are connected with the world beneath our feet. Oh, I can't wait to see where that dye shows up. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Joanna. You're welcome.